Alright guys, so I'm gonna go through a quick run through of what I did for the shading. I took my horse and I took the gray pastel and grounded it, ground, ground, whatever the word is, it into a dust like that. And then I applied the dark gray pastel into, I'm going to like run you through what, how to shade like and stuff. So, like, there's the dark crevices, like the deep crevices in your horse, and then there's the more higher up ones that like don't go as deep. And the ones that go really deep into the horse. That was my mother. <laughs> the ones that the muscles that go deep into the horse, that's why you apply the dark as which is what I use the gray for. And so you apply that. And what I did was I took my alcohol, I dipped my little brush into the alcohol so it's wet like that. And then I painted onto my piece of cardboard, so it's not totally dry, but not totally wet. I dipped it into my pastel dust so it kind of stuck. And I'm using my left hand, and I just went into the muscle, and it kind of made it like a paint. But then after you've done that, into the muscle, like, hold on, can't see it. After you've done it into a muscle, can you see that's a paint? I took my foam brush or brush, whatever soft, and I just brushed away the excess dust and it made it so like it blended into the horse. So. And the thing I did for the higher up more crevices, like not so deep in muscles. Um, I took my gray and I took some white pastel dust and I ground it in and I mixed it in it. And it formed this light gray color. And I put that into the horse. I did the same method. And then for the black around the eyes and the muzzle, I just took black pastels. And I didn't even ground it, I just colored on my cardboard. And then I took my little makeup brush, rubbed it into it, like that, and then I applied it. You can also use a Q-tip for this. Q-tip will work really well, too. Um, so I have my horse, um, I just matted it. And so it's drying, so part three will be up next. Thank you, guys.